This is the sternoclavicular joints. We're going to start with the PA and then we'll do both obliques, anterior obliques. We've got a 40 inch SID, a six by six collimation. We're going to start with the left marker in the left lower corner and we're going to have the patient face the image receptor. We're going to go about three to four inches inferior to C7 to get our central ray. So let's have our patient come over here. We're gonna bring our lead shield right in behind you. So stand up nice and tall, good, all the way forward. I'm gonna palpate for C7, go down about three to four inches. So we're pretty good there. We just wanna make sure the patient is straight and we can see here that I am too full aligned. So go ahead and take a breath in. Blow that breath out and hold your breath out. We'll expose and you can breathe. Then what we're gonna do is our first oblique, since I've already got a left marker on here, we'll do the LAO first. So we're gonna roll her into a 15 degree LAO. I'm gonna find the spine and I'm gonna center about one to two inches to the lateral portion of the spine, which actually places us right there. So we're gonna position to the upside, but we're visualizing the downside. So while we're positioning to the right side, we're looking at the left sternoclavicular joint. Uh, have our shielding here and we're already tube film aligned. So go ahead and take a deep breath in, blow that breath all the way out and hold your breath out. Expose and you can breathe. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rotate the patient into a 15, 20 degree RAO. I'm gonna change my marker. So we'll get you to step aside and place our marker in the right lower corner here. All right, right back up so you're facing the board. And we're gonna have her in a RAO. Here's her spine, so I'm gonna center you over here and that's three to four inches. All right, so take a nice deep breath in. Hold your breath and breathe. Actually wanna do that on expiration. So go ahead and relax. And that's a two view or three view sternoclavicular joint.